going to be talking about <laughs> this video here, basically Damn. how to fish on bridges, right? Yep, that's the goal. Yeah, man. And guys, anyone can do it. Any bridge around the country or hell around the world, man. Yep. There's always going to be fish under these bridges. Man. It's super easy to do. You don't need a boat. We, we're on our boat right now, but we could be doing this from the bank too, man. So guys, stay tuned. See what you think, baby. Let's get on. Okay. Guys, here we go, man. Brandon just absolutely slayed this freaking tank. That's probably like a 38, 37, 38, bro. Look at this freaking beautiful snook, man. Nice work, man. Guys, it's like the third cast of the night, man. We're just out here freaking chilling, baby. Guys, we're doing fishing under a bridge, man. Brand's gonna explain the rig to you in just a few minutes, man. Guys, you can do this, man. I'm telling you, right? Hell yeah, dude. Shout out to Bite Me Bait Shack. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Let's go. Guys, if you're gonna release a fish, make sure you take your time and revive them well. And then you can release her healthy and she'll survive. Look at all those pilchards, guys. Oh, yeah. Look at all those pilchards under this big snook. There she goes. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Monster snook. Dude. Hell yeah, bro. That's a good start to the night, baby. Tank. All right, you guys. So check it out. So these snook, they're going to fray up this leader right here. So here's the, what we're using here. Quarter ounce jig head. I like to use pink. <laughs> You know, when we're using shrimp, it kind of simulates yeah. the same color. But if you can see real closely, this fray, these snook right will here. fray up your leader, guys. That's 30 pound test. That's something that a lot of people don't do, guys, for snook. Yeah. And that's one reason that we end up getting more bites, man, is- Yep, fish light line. Fish lighter line. You might lose some fish, but guys, that was a trophy damn snook right yeah. there, man. Yeah, trophy. And you know fish. what, if you play her right, you can still land her on 30 pound test, yep. guys. And this is, look. Dude, he just snapped 30 pound test because of that fray, guys. The only reason I didn't lose that fish, guys, is because the whole time of that fight, every time she would surge and do a big run, I would loosen up my drag just a tad. Because every time they make one of those big runs, if your drag is just barely too tight, you saw right there, I just, I probably applied three, four pounds of pressure on that line and done there you go there you go that would have been the fish right there that's it lighter line gets you more bites but you got to play around. all right you guys so brandon's on again looks like another snook another freaking tank it's a nice so fish you see this if you're not as big as the last one nowhere close but... it's a little 2000 it's a little 26 inch Another snook, dude. Look at this, guys. Again, jig head, slow, just slow rolling. Slow rolling the shrimp and a jig head, man. Guys, quarter ounce, healthy fish right quarter there. ounce jig head. He's probably 25, snook. Look at this. Close to the last one, but. Yeah, hold them up a little more so I can get you all in the frame with them. Fighter, there you man. go, man. Nice. Especially in this, um, when the water's cold, they're, they're just extra spunky, man. This little fish pulls some drag. Heck yeah, dude. Beautiful fish. Nice, right bro. They're a fun fish to catch. So much fun. So again, revive him. This guy will revive much easier. He's probably gonna take off this little guy. This might be a male, right? Yeah, that's a little male right there. Nice, there dude. Took off strong. Nice work, homie. Yeah. yeah. Bam. All right, over. guys, let's get another one. And of course, guys, Brandon's on his third. Like, we're like, like three to nothing here, guys. Three to nothing, guys, but who's keeping score, right? This is a little bit bigger than that last one. This is a tiny bit. Pretty, pretty used to Brandon out fishing me, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Tonight is not Andrew Fishman style. We not actually, style. we actually have our net today. If we were going Andrew Fishman style, we would, we would have been in trouble with that first fish. Yeah. <laughs> we would have been serious trouble. Yeah, he's like probably inch bigger than the last one. Oh man, that's good stuff, guys. So again, man, yeah, there it is. There. Jig head, jig head tipped with a shrimp, guys. Yeah quarter ounce jig head this is actually the tide is actually not moving as fast as we would like even it's slack the tide is like slack pretty tide. slack right now so usually guys we try to fish these guys with more current but tonight hey man they're cooperating yep, and we're fishing right now we're fishing post spawn these guys just finished up spawning mm -hmm. it's a uh, very beginning of the shrimp run and uh, there's a lot of mold coming around we've had our first couple of cold fronts so the water is actually pretty chilly um, but that's actually one of the best times to catch these guys these guys are really hungry after the spawn they're all ready to eat and they've been eating lots of shrimp and it's cool it's a good opportunity to come out here and fish light tackle you can fish small baits fish those 
live shrimp and get at all the tackle shops around here. And yeah, man. It's a blast, man. The one we like the most, guys, is this one right here, the Bite Me Bait Shack, baby, baby, all right? You can get, the guys, they actually have the best freaking shrimp in South best. Florida, man. South Florida. Biggest damn shrimp. Look at this, and the tide just started moving. Yep, yeah. tide's just starting, guys. Just so let's see if that shark rod might get ate. Yep, look at that. Oh, he's biting down hard, man. There it is. Beautiful fish. All right, buddy, get out of here. Dude. Yeah. Gone down to the depths. Nice, bro. Beautiful again. Fish, man. Again. Awesome. All right, you guys. So the shark rod just went off. It ain't a shark. And we don't think it's a shark. I don't think it's a shark. Man. Let's see. Shark rod just went off. Is that a jack? Is that a jack freaking crab right there? <laughs> guys, That'd we had a hilarious. we had a ladyfish head on the bottom here. Trying to get a damn shark. Might be shark bait. Might be shark bait. Oh, this thing is mad. Look at what we got him on right there. Awesome. Look at that head shake, guys. Look at that head shake. Brand's getting a damn workout tonight. Damn it, is that five to nothing, guys? I think that it is. That is a tank jack. That is a tank lady jack fish head, guys. Ladyfish head on bottom. Eight a damn ladyfish head. Number six wire. Yeah, man. And a freaking jacky dude. I've never seen that before. Like that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's Guys, crazy. you just never know, man. You never know what you're oh, going to see when you come out here, dude. That's awesome. Oh. Dude, look at that jack. Oh, man. That's a proper jack right there. Look at that jack creval, baby. Oh, that is my a goodness. Proper jack. Look, dude, look how fat that thing is. He's like a circle. Look how he got hooked. Check him out, guys. He got hooked. Somehow he ate that bait. And then he swam hooked, away man. from it. Maybe got he, like hit it and then dropped it. Got hooked in the gill plate. Yeah. But you know what? That's still, fish, it still counts, baby. How about that? You got to hold this guy up, dude. That's yeah, a damn. Yeah. Nice, bro. Beautiful yeah. Jack Creval, guys. You That's guys, one of the hard, hardest fighting fish out here, man. You just never know, man. What you're gonna see out here on these bridges, guys. And again, it doesn't have to be in the Keys. It could be any bridge, man. There's always That's fish, fish right moving right. through these bridges, man. Hell yeah, dude. It's a really good size one. He's just so round, dude. Look at that. Look how it's one of like the roundest jack of I've ever seen. He's yeah, not dude. long at all. He's just like a circle. That's a freaking tank, bro. That's a freaking heavy lifter right there. All right, man. On the shark rod. That's the first Ooh. jack I've ever caught on, on a shark bait. That's crazy, <laughs> man. Bottom. That's pretty rare, guys. And that's it's another cool. another example of why we put shark baits out, guys. You never know who's going to eat them. Exactly, man. You know what? That was World... a fish head on bottom, a ladyfish head. Exactly, you know? And it's fresh bait. We just caught the ladyfish tonight. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Always put some baits out, man. You never know Big what old, you're going to get, baby. Big jack Hell yeah. Solid. Nice, bro. It's a little bit bigger. Guys, it's four to nothing now, okay? Four to nothing. It's four to nothing. Brandon's friggin' on another one. Where you at? Okay. He thinks he's something, huh? Guys, sorry about the not so great camera work tonight. Oh, yeah, that's a decent little fish. Tonight. Nice. And he's in. And he's in. Oh, Guys, that's, no, well, that's a nice one, dude. Yeah, he's a little nicer. Hold on a second. I think that's zero for me. Yep. Yo. Hey, I'm, at least I'm rocking the pull my pork barbecue hat, man. Heck yeah. Huh? You guys, if you like some barbecue, pull my pork barbecue. Pull my pork Check them out, baby. Damn, let's go. This is like number four, man. They're on fire out here tonight. Yeah, dude. Awesome. Yeah, beautiful fish. Beautiful, man. All right, there you go. Come on back. It's easy fishing, guys. It's really easy fishing, man. And literally, guys, every single bridge in the Florida Keys has these beautiful fish. Every single, every single bridge holds these beautiful fish. Yeah, guys. And you know what? We want to show you guys how we're doing it, man. And that's that's how you do it guys just come out to these bridges man slow roll these freaking jigs and shrimp and you'll get these beautiful snook and guys when they're in season whoo man fish. we always recommend harvest one a season guys keep yeah. this fishery healthy man beautiful there he goes there he goes I'm down right awesome, there awesome dude and again, i was getting hit by snapper and then all of a sudden bam Over. Yeah, guys, this Brandon just got s smacked. So, I think it's a jack. oh, is it? I think it's a big jack. Oh, yeah. Big jack Cravel. Yep, I know. I think 
Dude, it's a tank. Yeah, it's a big one, dude. Oh, dude, it's a tank, dude. Guys, never know what you're gonna catch out here, man. I tell you. Like a, like and a the big tide tank. just started working. Man, look at that thing. Yep, he is a, a tank. Big tank dude. Man, that's a big old tank right there. That's the size of Craval we like catching right there. Guys, Good there's another jack. monster jack Craval, dude. Look at that man, thing, dude. What a pig, Come on, man. baby. Come what? on. What a pig, dude, look at that dude you're slaying. That's a pig. <laughs> That is a pig. Dude. Oh man. man. That one might be a little bit bigger than the last one. You guys, so this is, we're going to show you how to release Jack of Al, man. Basically, like like releasing a tuna or a bonita, you're going to yeah. just basically point his head towards the water. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And there he goes. Took and, right off. And what that does is Gone. it pushes the water through the gills quickly and kind of yeah. wakes them back up and gets them swimming off yeah, real good. Jack species and tuna species, they're fast moving. They never stop swimming, they're constantly swimming. Snook are a completely different kind of fish. They just lay on the bottom and are lazy all the time. Yeah, that's why they're reviving them is different, yeah. right? Those guys, the way they move all the time, their gills are they're they're different. They need water constantly flowing through their gills. So when you give them a really huge like flush of oxygen through those gills really fast, it just brings them to life and it gives them enough energy to swim off good. That's and right. And they get their fins back. All right, you think maybe I can catch them? guys? Do you think maybe I can catch a damn fish tonight? Dude, look at that. Oh, what do you gosh. think, man? I had my hands in the water. Jellyfish oh. almost. All right, you guys, it's official. Brandon's whooping my ass. Beautiful. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how many snook that is. That's five. That's five snook. That's like a 24 right there. Nice, dude. That's a pretty fish, man. Another freaking beauty, man. Hell Another yeah. Beauty right there, right? Beauty, beauty, beauty. Just working that jig head with the shrimp, guys. Jig head with the shrimp, man. Just, just about the best thing you can do this time of year, especially on shore. And then, guys, this goes for anywhere, not just like South Florida, like Northern Florida, Tampa, you know, Fort Myers, Cape, anywhere there's like a channel or you got some kind of structure, current goes past it. There's most likely gonna be some snook there. They're beautiful. They're feisty, man. Feisty in this cold water. Oh, a beautiful one right there. How about that razor blade right there, guys? Yeah, there's guys. a razor blade. Right there, cut up. Right there. Right there. Right there. That little edge right there, you guys see that little line? That thing will slice your hand open. Yeah. Like an exact knife. It's ridiculous. Gill rakers on Why they stuff. evolved that, I'm not actually sure why they have it. Mm -hmm. Like they can clamp down. Yeah, they sure do. Alright. Nice He's ready. ready to go. There he goes. He was ready to go. <laughs> nice Beautiful work, guys. dude.